up to now okay so far we have studied uh, and we understood about what is AI up to now chapter 1 and chapter 2 in this chapter and second chapters we will learn how do we do AI so the question how is addressed in chapter two, 3 and 4 and 5 and so on okay so from now on we will focus on how all these okay problems within the AI so some of the existing techniques are discussed in this chapter okay for example the searching okay for solving the problem so let's move on okay so in this okay the very first okay idea that we need okay some kind of agent to solve the problem so the problem solving agents are basically the goal based agents that we studied in chapter 2 so the goal based agents okay are indeed okay uh, the problem solving agents so the problem solving agents okay use mainly atomic representation means they represent the solution of the problem in terms of very okay atomic level uh, this means there's no internal structure okay where which is visible to the problem just you will get the solutions uh, directly so no internal structure and you don't need to go inside in detail about all these considerations because the states okay which are represented by these okay problem solving agents okay are considered as a whole so the states represented by as a whole so there are no sub state or uh, mini states so that's why we get okay a complete solution with a, a better understanding okay let's move okay for the problem solving agents okay uh, the second one about the decision so these uh, they the agents okay they decide what to do by finding uh, a series of actions that constitute problems and solutions so first we need to define the uh, what is uh, definition of the problem okay the main thing is uh, what we have okay what we need to solve and then we consider about how we uh, what we need to do how we need to solve okay so what and how all this okay so uh, we will see okay the formation or uh, formulation of problem and uh, uh, all those okay formulation related to the solutions okay so uh, there are two types of mainly okay uh, search algorithms if you think about uh, uninformed search algorithm so in this one okay algorithms give no information prior to the problem okay uh, I mean prior to the solutions so at the starting point we don't have any information not at all uh, about the problem itself and we just okay uh, use the algorithms to solve the problem uh, the other one is about the okay uh, so uh, in uninformed search algorithm algorithms okay uh, those are those algorithms that are given uh, no information earlier okay about the problem other than its definition so except the definition we don't have other information but informa informed okay search algorithm the other one can do quite well okay uh, because we have uh, given uh, we have given some guidance some information regarding the problem and uh, the way how to solve something like that so we can get solution much easier in this way right so let's move on. Yeah, uh, before starting further, I would like to give you a very famous example of AI. Uh, this example is about the uh, root finding, okay? So let's say we have a number of cities inside, okay, certain map. So the cities are located as uh, just like a node or just dot, okay, we can think it. So there are many cities inside, okay, this mapping agents use atomic representations, okay? Uh, so there's no internal structure to represent the states uh, the states are considered as a whole entity okay so we get a better solution and better understanding okay uh, also okay problem solving agents decide what to do by finding sequences of actions uh, that lead to 
the desirable, the goal, okay, state. And uh, the third point was we start, we start by defining the elements, okay, that constitutes the problem and solution. So we will see, okay, uh, the problem uh, formulations and solutions, okay, formulations, okay, something like that. And further, we uh, we also uh, see that there are two types of mainly algorithms. Some of them are called uninformed. Okay, yeah. this means uh, the algorithm that don't have information prior before the problem. Okay, S solving process, uh, except just definition of the problem. That's all. So only, okay, they have a uh, definition, but no other information whenever you start to solve those problems. So those algorithms are uninformed algorithms. And informed search algorithms are better because we have, okay, uh, plenty of information before, okay, uh, before the beginning of solution. So before the solving the problem, we got a number of, okay, guidance or solutions, uh, informations, okay? So we can go along with those, okay, guidance to solve the problems. The next one was, uh, I, sh I was showing you about the graphs. Uh, and this is a very famous example of AI. And AI, in AI, we have, okay, uh, this uh, famous example known as root finding. Okay, root finding problem. In this problem, we have uh, a sketch of graph. Okay, so in this graph, we have a number of nodes. Okay, these are different nodes. These are different nodes inside the graph. And these nodes, okay, for example, this one or this one, even this one, these nodes are okay, connected together with other nodes like this one, okay, or maybe uh, like this one, okay. So they are connected together using link. So node and links are used, okay, uh, to connect these graphs. But from AI perspective, we think it in different way. Uh, but exactly, uh, the representation or thinking is a little different, but the solution is the same, actually. So we think in AI is these, okay, nodes, okay, these nodes are states, different states of the problem. And whenever they uh, the agent moves from one state to, let's say, from the next state, okay, from maybe from Z to, okay, or there, or maybe from Z to Arad, or maybe from Arad to uh, uh, CPU, okay, all these. So whenever they move, they constitute a path. So from state one, to state two, they use action that is called okay, path. So these are okay some different concepts in AI, but they are exactly the same thing, okay? Different way of thinking, but the solutions are the same actually. So we will come up to this problem later. That's okay, no problem. Let's uh, begin with some other terminologies, okay, which are used in AI, okay, most frequently. The first one is in the problem solving agent. The first term terminology is agent, okay? Intelligent agent, actually. So they are expected, uh, if the agents are, are expected to maximize, okay, performance, then they are considered as intelligent. So this is the criteria that intelligent agents are expected, are supposed to do, uh, are supposed to do actions to maximize performance. So intelligent agents do the maximum performance. Okay. Number two is about the goals. Okay. So the goals okay help uh, uh, to organize uh, help the agent to organize behavior by limiting okay uh, different objectives, goals, target. So by this way the agents concentrate on uh, on just few number of objectives and it can try the best to achieve okay, the goal, that's all. The goal formulation, as we discussed earlier a little bit, uh, goal formulation is based on the current situation of the agent okay, and 
agents performance. Okay? So there are two considerable factors for good formulation. The current situation of the agent, what is the state of the agent and the agent's performance. How do the agent do? Okay? So uh, this is the first step in formation of goal or formulation of goal. Okay? So uh, you can think it as definition of the goal also. So the thing, uh, the neck, uh, the in the nick of the okay time, uh, things changes. But the thing is okay, uh, the agents' performance and uh, states always changes. Okay. Okay, let's move to the next topic, the problem solving. Okay, uh, formulation. So actually, we should say it okay, problem formulation. So the problem formulation is the process of okay, deciding uh, what kinds of action and states to consider uh, if we have given a target. So let's say we have we got the goal, we have to do something, okay, the target, the goal. But uh, the problem formulation will okay help us to uh, make a process, okay. So problem formulation is the process of deciding, okay, what kinds of action and states to be considered for the agent to perform okay to do uh, with within the consideration of the final goal so all, all those processes are called okay problem formulation that's all okay let's move on to the next one okay. the next okay uh, thing is an agent with several immediate options of unknown value can decide what to do by first examining a uh, different possible sequence of action that lead to states of known values and then to choose the best sequence. Uh, I was giving example, remember, just now uh, about the root finding solution. So this one, okay, let's say uh, these are different cities and the agent starts from here, let's say from here, and it want to move to this final destination. So start from here, and the goal, okay, is here, right? So the agent move, okay, uh, is, let's say it moves from, okay, the state one, the initial state, the first state, to the next state, okay? maybe this way, it may move this way, or there are other possibilities, like it can move here also, it can move here, okay? So these three uh, are possibilities, okay? Uh, and then, okay, uh, further it can move from here, the state number two to state number three, maybe here, okay, this one. Actually, it should be like this, okay? The third state, and then it can go to the final state, okay? The goal. So uh, immediate options, there are, okay, uh, the agents okay have several immediate options to move okay options of unknown value because we don't know what is the value okay of the next state but they have there are options to move okay there are options okay for the agent to go on uh, so can decide what to do by first examining so the agent sitting uh, sitting here okay, can decide whether I have to move here or here or here okay uh, how by by investigating by examining uh, what are the possible conse consequences okay natija uh, uh, what are the possible sequence of actions we can do so let's say it decide to go here and thinking about and then okay choosing the best one so by choosing the best one from these three parts, it, another okay problem uh, and it decides by okay considering different okay cost we will study about the cost later that's okay so the process of looking for the process of looking for a sequence of action okay uh, and the searches okay to seek the goal is called search the search is a process of looking for okay is looking for a sequence of action and finding the goal Search is the process of looking for a sequence of actions by the 
agents and reaching the goal beginning from here to the destination goal okay this is the goal and this is the initial state okay state one we can think and we have to find the best route for from here to here okay so in this example okay i'm trying to think about uh, i'm trying to demonstrate okay the options which are available to the agent to go so let's say the agent wish to go here okay the first state the this is called okay uh the subsequent state or maybe you can say think it as a okay next state so and then it will move to the next state okay successes successor state okay or then the successor successor will be this one okay and the also possibility that it will move here also okay so every time the agents has a number of possibilities okay options to move to the next state by different paths so it can move here or here so there there are options okay for the agent to move okay. so this is what, what discussed here in this first okay point that agent with several immediate okay options of unknown value and actually we don't know the uh, much about the next state we uh, the agent is here and it want to go to the next state so there are a number of options two three four five many options okay for the agent to go to go to the next state so the agent with several immediate options okay uh, of unknown value uh, is decided by okay examining okay examining different possible okay sequence of action so, so first it will think about whether i should go here or here okay it will decide it will think and further it will think about all the strategy okay from go here then here okay or here okay or here or maybe the next strategy to go here and then after here and maybe here next one and then finally here so there are many possibilities and uh, it is it decides by observing or examining okay all the possible sequence of okay actions and uh, that lead to the states okay different states uh, so they de it decides by thinking okay all the possibilities and come up with the best solution okay this is the only thing which is very important that agent always want uh, want to find okay the best okay sequence or best solution to the problem that's all the process of okay so this is okay for you that's okay and uh, the next possibility is the process of looking for a sequence okay the process of looking for okay a sequence of action is uh, in the consideration of, of uh, seeking the goal is called search so the entire process of okay uh, looking for uh, all the sequences of action one by one by the agent and further okay uh, arriving at the goal okay is called search so this is about the uh, point number 2 uh, then the third point is the search algorithms takes possible uh, takes the problem as input so let's say uh, if we consider is in as a box, okay so the search problem is considered as input and the solutions are output you can think like this so search algorithms takes a problem as input and returns solution okay as output or the, or the form in the form of action sequence which is done by the agents so agent gets the problem and this uh, they solve the problem using actions okay actions a series of action that is called action sequence that's all so once a, a solution okay is found means once after planning okay agent got the solution that i have to go uh, the best way by going here and then here and then here okay and then here it is the cheapest Call, uh, cheapest price okay a path or it is the shortest path whatever it thinks then okay it will do the action okay uh, 
which is recommended by the in built in okay programs and then it will do those actions so those actions are called okay, executed uh, execution phase okay execution phase so up to now it's okay now we should move on that's okay uh, everything all, all right that's okay there's no interruption that's okay so I will move on inshallah there will be no problem of internet now okay so let's move on. so uh, after that okay uh, let's see the definition of the problem the problem definition okay, is consists of five component the problem okay defining the problem okay I have uh, five components we can define okay a problem by five components the first thing is uh, in the problem is thinking about the initial state the first state okay of the agent then we think about the actions okay the possible actions which is done by the agents so you can think is uh, actions is a function okay it is a function if I can write again that's okay too much that's okay so you can think action okay is a function of okay state and it is a collection of or a set of different actions inside okay that's all so our possible actions are those collections actually okay so this is how you define in mathematical term the third one is about the description of okay what each action does so uh, this is called transition model so the transition models are description or the detection of what each action does okay? that transition from moving from one state to the another state okay like this one and the successes are okay if you think about this one so let's say we are uh, uh, the agent is at the first okay, state in the beginning at the first state then the second state is considered as successor because it will it it is wishing uh, it is willing to go okay to the second state okay that's all so these okay states are successor states okay you can think like this uh, uh, the wish of the agent is to move from first state to the second so the second state is considered as successors okay something like this so that's why we say that any state that is reachable by the agents okay by the by acting some doing some action okay from the given state okay that's all so okay let's go to the state space okay so the state space is a set of all the states set of all the states okay uh, which is uh, reachable from the initial state by a sequence of action that's all and uh, the direct network or graphs are okay state space okay they are indeed okay state space so the state uh, state space is the directed networks or graph okay like this so as I told you earlier the nodes are state and R, so the links are the no, uh, are action. Links are the action. Okay, and the path is okay. The sequence of action uh, of a state. Okay, uh, stay within the state state space. Okay, a, se a sequence of states is a path. Okay, that's all. So uh, actually, there is difference between the state a uh, path. So this is one path, one complete path from initial, the first state to the final state. Let's say this is the final state. So this is complete one path, but it is a collection of different steps. So these are the steps from one state, okay, to another state. These are steps. Okay, let's move to the next one. This is the same example we were talking about. Uh, let's move to the next okay, slide, goal test. So as I told you earlier, the goal test are mainly the functions, okay, uh, in terms of mathematics, okay. So the goal test determines okay, whether a given state is a goal or not. So it is a binary based, okay, uh, function which decide, okay, uh, 
that whether the state is true or false for the okay, goal. So if the goal has arrived, so it will say true, okay? Otherwise it will be false, all this. Uh, the part cost, okay, function assigns an, a numeric cost to each part. So every time if you are moving from uh, the initial state to the final state, okay, uh, every time it takes some cost, okay, to move from uh, the one state to another one, okay. So the pass cost function, okay, uh, assigns some value, some number, okay, numeric cost. Let's say uh, from here to here it takes uh, four hours to move, or maybe it takes uh, 400 real, okay, the money. So you can think uh, is the cost can be of any type, okay? Maybe with, in terms of money, in terms of time, in terms of distance, okay? So these are again okay, numeric cost to each part, okay? Each part, like this, or this, okay? Like this. So collection of steps, and finally, it is the part, okay? So every time we have to add all those, okay, values of the part, okay? Let's say, 300 and so on. So every time we have to add all those, okay, step cost to find the path cost. So, okay, uh, the path cost function, okay, assigns a numeric cost to each part. And uh, the step cost of taking action from action uh, from state X to state Y is represented like this. So the function, okay, can be considered as uh, it is moving from the initial state, okay, to the final state, okay, let's say Y, and in the middle, there is action, which is done by the agent, right? Uh, is it okay? Are you okay? Are you listening? Can you say it? the network is okay? Okay, so yes, yes, I think uh, this is important. Okay, that's all. So the solution to the problem is, okay, solution to a problem is an action sequence. So every time, okay, if you wish to have a okay, solution, uh, then, okay, agents must do action, a sequence of action uh, that lead to initial state to the final state, okay, from here to here. So uh, the solution quality also depends on, okay, or, is, or it is measured by uh, some of the factors. Number one, path cost function, okay? So the path cost function uh, decides about the solution quality. So solution quality is measured by path cost function and optimal solutions, okay? Uh, so uh, some other factors are, Okay, but the solution quality okay depends on mainly mainly on path cost function. So if the path cost function is low, okay, the cost is low, then we have better solution. If it is high, this means the solution quality is low. In fact, because it is costly. If it is costly, then the solution is bad. Okay, if it is okay cheaper, then we say that solution is good. Okay. Most of the time, not always, okay? That's all. So in this uh, path finding, okay, uh, the thing is solution quality depends on, okay, the path cost function, this one, okay? The next thing is the optimal solution, okay? The best solution is has the lowest path cost, okay? The same thing as I told you just now. And the process of, okay, removing details, okay? the details from representation, from presentation is called abstraction of the problem, okay? So most of the time we do abstraction to understand the problem. This is the all we do for understanding the problem. So the process of removing details from representation is called abstraction. Okay, uh, so this is example, okay? Uh, example is the same, okay? We have a starting point in Iran, okay? And we are moving the final, okay? So if this is the starting point. You can think it as state one. And uh, this is the goal, okay? The state, 
the last state uh, and we formulate by uh, start uh, for the destination okay we formulate the goal by thinking about the goal okay? and formulate the problem by start uh, by considering different states different cities the action is done okay in between the city as i told you and finding the solution is actually moving from uh, one state to another yani moving from one city to another one sequence of cities okay so this is the same example let's say the agent start from here it moves to the next state and then f further here further here okay or uh, another possibility is here and here okay so on so it these are okay some of the solutions that we should consider uh, i mean the agent should consider about right so uh, these are all about the path finding uh okay uh, there are two types of okay problems in this ai domain so mainly there are two broad okay categories of problems uh, the toy problems and the real world problems and the real world okay uh, we will discuss later but we will start with the toy problem so they are, gi are given uh, a concise and exact description about the problem okay so uh, the toy problems okay are given as a concise and exact description of the problem so that we can understand the problem and start to work on those problems and get the good solution best solution in fact okay uh to compare the performance so the main idea is to find different solutions and then okay uh think about which one is the best one like this one okay the performance of algorithms this one all together and in the real world problem okay uh these problems okay tend uh, not to have a single so they don't have okay single agreed solutions we may have several real world solutions like the toy problem that's okay but uh people okay uh, cannot decide on they have don't uh, they don't have single agreed solutions this is the main thing so uh, this is the toy problem about the vacuum cleaner remember or the uh, robo cleaner okay you can think uh, we discussed it earlier in chapter 2 about the world state spacecraft okay so uh, remember in the room or in the space location we have different state let's say a and b and inside the different location a and b there are some okay dirt and the cleaner okay robo cleaner wants to clean those dirt inside the room location so it is doing okay by okay several actions and every time okay each Okay, changes by doing those action. Okay, so actions. Okay, let's say in both space there are dirt, and it starts with the A location and clean it. Uh, or let's say it is initially in state B, not in A. It will start from B, not A. This is another possibilities. Uh, maybe uh, after cleaning the A, okay, it will move to the B. Okay, like this way. This is another possibility. So altogether, there are eight states. Okay, if you can think, so there are eight possible states, like this. Okay, up to here, all these, and the states. Okay, uh, is determined. So states is a state is determined by both the agent location, okay, agent location, and that location. And uh, put together, there are eight states. Okay, are uh, any state? Okay, uh, it can be any state. Okay, uh, which is assigned to the problem. Uh, actions. Okay, are uh, the action done by the robot cleaner, moving to the left side. Okay, moving to the right side and cleaning, sucking the dirt. Okay, transition models can be okay. Uh, actually, uh, transition models are actions. Okay, have uh, have their expected effect. So, in the transition model, okay, uh, except uh, three possibilities, uh, all of them are 
uh, effective okay so the actions have their expected effects that let's say uh, it can clean a area or location b area okay like this and there are three possibilities where we say there is no effect let's say uh, the first one moving left in the leftmost sequence so if we can we can see that moving to the left side okay let's say it it is moving to the from the right side to the left side and there's no dirt no uh, any dirt exists inside okay there's nothing inside it is clean then it is considered as uh, ineffective because uh, the agent is moving without any okay uh, effect there's no need to move from the left side to the right side where the area is clean okay so this is one possibility in the same way there are other possibility moving to the right side and th there's nothing inside okay in that location that is another possibilities okay so okay so this is another poss possibility so uh, moving left to left in the leftmost square, square or moving right in the rightmost square or even sucking okay uh, cleaning in the clean area there's no sense okay so that's why we say it no effect okay so except these three effects okay uh, no uh, non-effective okay uh, actions the rest of the things are considered as effective so the transition models are actions that have their expected effects so expected effects creates transition model that's all the goal test okay checks whether all uh, squares are cleaned or not. So remember I told you it is a function that decide that whether we f find the solution, the target or not. So true and false. If uh, we got the goal, then it is true, okay? That okay, we now finally we have got the solution, it is true, okay? Uh, otherwise it will be false. The path cost, okay, is each step that the robo cleaner is moving and it costs one okay so the path cost is the number of step okay in the path so as i told you the path cost is a collection of number of step cost okay uh, okay uh this, this is the same thing okay the third problem if we have uh, two minutes we can go on is it okay if i finish it in two minutes that's okay uh is it okay uh you have time two minutes we can on okay just let me finish these two problems which is important the first problem is okay about the toy problem so this is the toy problem okay about the toy problem so in the toy problem okay we are thinking about uh, then this problem eight puzzle so the eight puzzle okay uh, let's say there are okay uh, this is the starting okay the starting state uh, where we have different numbers from one to eight there are numbers in the three by three okay see there are three by three okay square and inside the three by three square uh, there are okay eight numbers one is empty okay so we have to slide always the numbers inside the empty to fix the problem so that we can get the numbers in order like one two three four five six seven eight this way okay in order this is our goal okay so in this problem we will begin with the random numbers and we will arrive at the ordered numbers okay this is our target so in the eight puzzle okay the is an instance of which is shown in the figure is cons consisting of three by three board uh, with eight numbers and a blank space the tile adjacent to the blank space and slide the same thing as i told you and the objective is to reach uh, goal target specified goal that's all okay so uh, the states are okay uh, the state description specify the location of each of the eight tiles 
So the states are each okay uh, location. You can think the state description specifies uh, the location of each of the state. Okay. Uh, so these are different states. You can think like okay. So uh, actually, uh, this is one state, and if we shift, move something, okay, uh, in the blank, okay, space, then the state will change. Okay. So every time by moving, sliding. Uh, we change the states of this toy. Okay, so the space description specifies the location of each of the eight ties. Okay, and the blank is in one of the nine square. So altogether, they are states. The initial state is any state from where we start the problem solution. Okay, problem solution actions are moving. Okay, the numbers from left right up down all these transition model okay uh, uh, the given uh, state and the action uh, it the transition model returns okay the next state or the resulting state so for example we apply uh, moving a number for to the left side to the from the beginning uh, from the right side then it is considered as transition okay or the next okay thing is about the goal test. This is okay. uh, checking the state whether we arrive at the final desired state or not, <coughs> which is making the numbers in order. And the path cost is moving okay step by step, each step moving okay uh, or just sliding okay from left to right, right to left, and so on, okay? So these are, okay, path costs. Each step cost one. And path cost is a collection of steps, okay? Earlier we were discussing about the states and the nodes, okay? So our problem is how to implement, how to use the AI, okay, our techniques, are using algorithms, okay? Then how to use the algorithms, okay? Uh, to convert the state into node because we are transforming, changing the problem of AI from the state and path and so many things to the node and the link and so on. So now, okay, we are at the state of okay, uh, algorithm creation. And at that time, okay, last time I have shown you the tree search algorithm, how does it function, all the things, okay? So uh, we will move further to implement, okay, AI problem using queues, okay? So the queues, okay, we will use it later, but uh, I have also, okay, explained you, if not, okay, just now I will show you this one. So how to use the queues. So the queues are basically data structures, okay? And it is just like queue as human. So let me show you uh, just basic example so that you can understand. So you are in at the window of some uh, some exhibition, okay, let's say, and you are in a queue, okay? Your friend is next to you and the others are in the queue. So just in one row, in one line, okay? Uh, don't go first, okay? Just in the queue. In the line okay so you are in the queue okay to get the tickets so this is how okay the queue work uh, we will use the same okay understanding of the common understanding of the, of the queues in our okay further slides so let's uh, consider about the the same general idea about the queues okay so in the queues okay we have we may have empty queues okay so let's say we have a queue okay like this one and the queue is empty, nothing is inside, okay? No element is inside. So nothing is inside, the queue is empty. This means uh, if, okay, there is no element, no more element, okay? So this is considered as empty queues. So whenever we get an empty queues, okay, like this one, so, okay, within the box there's nothing so we pop the queues okay uh, sorry we insert first okay we insert 
So inserting inside the cube means putting inside some elements, okay, all the time. So let's say I insert A, okay, then B, then C, okay. So this is the process of insertion inside the cube. So inserting inside the queue is one of the operations, okay? One of the operations of the queue. And this is very famous. So insert an element, okay? Pop means to take out, okay, some element from the queues, okay? To remove something from the queues, okay? So usually it is the first element to, to get, okay, removed by you, okay? So these are some of the basic operations, empty, pop, insert, okay? So, okay, uh, let's move to the amazing, okay? Problem solving performance. So now we are in the discussion of performance of, okay, uh, algorithms. So to think about the algorithm's performance, we think about the four questions, okay? so. If you are under the estimation of the evaluation of the algorithm's performance, which one is the best algorithm? Then you should consider four questions. The question number one is, is the algorithm okay, guaranteed to find a solution when there is one? <coughs> so the question is, is the algorithm guaranteed to find the solution when there is one? So if the answer is yes, the algorithm guarantees, okay, that you will find at last, at the end, one solution at least, then it is called completeness. This is one property. The other property is optimality. The question is, does the strategy, okay, algorithm strategy find the optimal best solution? If it is yes, this means your algorithm is optimal. There is, uh, this is the second property, which is called optimality. The third one is time complexity. This means, okay, how long, okay, does the algorithm takes to find solution? This means uh, how long, how, what time does it take to find some solution? So. It is time bound, so it is called time complexity. Okay, the third answer. Uh, so the if the answer is yes, this means uh, it is good for time complexity. The fourth one is about the space complexity. So this means okay. Uh, the question is here: How much memory? Okay, in your computer, in your machine, how much memory? is needed to perform the search. If it consists less memory, this means it is good, okay, to perform the operation of algorithm, okay? So that is called space complexity. So all these are, okay, some of the questions uh, regarding performance, okay, uh, about the algorithms, all these. Okay, let's move to the next one, okay, next topic. Uh, we were talking about the uninformed, okay, search strategies. So in the uninformed search strategies, okay, uh, the uninformed search strategies, okay, consist of four basic, okay, strategies. The breadth first search, depth first search, uh, it really, Okay, uh, deepening search, bi-directional search, these are four. So we will study one by one, that's okay. And also, uh, okay, that's okay, no problem. So uninformed search, okay, it is also called blind search because we don't have any information, okay, beforehand. So uh, have no additional information, okay, in this one. Uh, about except the problem definition. So we just got problem definition and rest of the information is missing. We don't have any other information. So we use okay, uninformed search. Uh, okay, the second thing is uninformed search strategy. 
uh, generate successes, okay, and separate the goal state from non-goal state. So uh, the re the thing is, okay, it generates always, okay, successes one by one. What will be what will be the next stage? What will be next the next step? Okay, let's say we start from here and we don't know anything, so we just go step by step. Okay, like this way, this way. So these successes, okay, these are the successes that are built by the uninformed search strategy. Okay, let's move to this way and uh, we will be here and then we will move to here, okay, like this way. So we are going uh, to generate the successes, okay? One, two, three, four, the states. And finally, okay, we will come up to the goal. Let's say our goal is here. So we will come up to the goal, okay? Uh, and that's why we say we separate, okay, the, uh, the goal, okay, the goal state from non-goal state, all the rest of these, right? So, okay, let's move to the next one. Uh, the first, okay, strategy, breath first search, okay, now we have here. So the breath first uh, search, consist of okay uh, tree structure actually okay so the root node is expanded first then okay uh, the successes of the root node are also expanded and so on so let's say we have a starting point here okay this is the starting node or the initial state okay we can think it as root node this one okay this is the root node, okay, let's say. And thereafter, okay, we expand the nodes, okay? Successor, these are the successors, okay? Uh, people also call sometimes as the, okay, uh, this one as frontiers. So these are, okay, this is the starting initial node, okay, here in the beginning, root node. And thereafter, we create successors, like this one or this one, okay? And thereafter, proceed with to the next one, the next, uh, the next successes like this one, this one, all these. So these are different levels, okay? Levels. So level zero, level one, level two, and so on. So we are moving from the top to the bottom, from level zero, one, two, and so on. So this is how okay breath first work, uh, but uh, this is you cannot think that this is going down okay. This is the top to bottom okay the strategy, but the main thing is we will go always from the left to right or right to left is okay, but always horizontally. So we will finish up level one first okay let's say all the elements of level one. So we got only the root node, that's okay. But after that, we will get the second, uh, the first level. So in the first level, we will finish up all nodes at first. Then we will go to the level two, okay, after that. So we will finish, finish this node first, okay, searching the, uh, I mean, moving to this node and then this node, okay. Then we will go to the next level. So level by level, okay, zero level, end up, then we have the first level end up all the elements all the nodes and thereafter subsequent two three four levels like this way so all the nodes are expanded at a given depth depth means level okay and also uh, implemented by calling three search algorithm and also with an we start with the empty fridge and uh, the thing is we utilize first in first out okay first in first out queue okay now we use the queue here right so the first in first out is like this one oh, yeah. queue like this one so is in the in the first within the queue let's say you are the first in the queue okay and the counter is here ticket counter so you will get the first ticket okay not the people who are behind you okay like this one so this is called first in because you entered the queue first. So you will get out of that queue first, okay? First in, first out. The people who entered late, they will be 
get out of the queue late, okay? Like this one. So first in, first out. Uh, the, okay, the second uh, thing is, uh, that is called FIFO, okay? First in, first out queue puts, okay? All newly generated successes. So in this one, okay, you can think it as first in, first out queue put, okay? All new generated successes at the end of the queue. So whatever is generated later, okay? Let's say in the level three, we got another, okay? Successes. So they will be, okay, treated at the end, okay? Later. So first, uh, the parents will be treated, okay? At the level zero. Then their, okay, uh, successors will be treated, level one. Then, okay, uh, level two will be treated. And the children will be treated at the end, okay? This is the last level, let's say. So top to bottom, okay, this is the whole thing. So this is the example, okay? I, so we, with this one, okay? We go to the level, this one, this level, okay? And we come up here, okay? And now we will finish up this one also, like this one. And finally, if we will go for D and E and so on, okay? Like this way. So that first is different from the, okay, that first. So in the, this one, okay, we expand the, okay, nodes, okay? to the deepest level, deepest node first, okay, in the current frame. Uh, I will show you an example, the figure, next one, okay. So this is the figure, okay, let me show you first. So, okay, uh, the depth first search is starting from here, okay. And let's say we have a goal here, okay, that's okay. But the strategy is to go down, okay. Uh, it is also possible to move from the right to left, but in this one, okay, we are moving from left to right, okay, this way, and going down at the same time, okay, this way. So, okay, so we have, okay, the starting one, this one, then we move to the next one here, okay, because this is the uh, left and the down, okay, this one. Then we will move further, okay. We will not go to this one, no. We will move further, so we will go on. We have gone to the level zero, one, two, this one, okay? And the after, okay, if there's another depth, means if there's another okay, level, we will move there also, right? So we are going all the way to the down, okay? To the end of the node. Then, okay, we will begin to go for the next one. So after finishing this one, okay, uh, let's say we have arrived here and then uh, thereafter we will move, go back and go to the next level, okay, this one. So by doing so, we have visited this one also altogether. And thereafter, okay, we will move here, okay, here. And again, if we, we will go here, okay, like this way, right? And okay, uh, thereafter we will move here like this way. Okay. And subsequently we will finish up moving all these nodes together. Okay. After this, we will move here finally. Okay. So this is how it works. It will go first in the depth, and thereafter it will come back and go to the rest of the nodes like this way. Okay. In depth. And uh, bear in mind that let's say we have the goal, let's say the letter M node, okay, here. So it will take a lot of time to finally arrive at the goal, okay. It will have to move here and go here and then come back here and then again here and so on, okay, like this way, then here, then here, okay, like this way, and finally we will be here. So uh, it takes a lot of time indeed, right? And the second thing is, if you can remember, uh, remark from here is, we are deleting, okay, removing all these nodes, whichever we have visited. So we are not deleting these one, okay, that's okay. But we are deleting, okay, the finally visited, the last, okay, last nodes, okay, like this one, or if you think about this one, 
we have visited and there is nothing more we need to visit. Then we will delete all these and from the memory computer because we have searched here and we didn't find anything. Okay, and uh, there is no further note. The reason is also this. Okay, so that's why we are moving to uh, to load the memory. Okay. So okay, uh, okay. So this is all about this one. And uh, if you can think about, okay, uh, as a, I think I have shown you this one. So if you have a, an infinite search, okay, let's say this one, and you are searching at the depth, okay, like this one, this one, and so on. And your goal is here. Let's say it will never, okay, give you give you any chance to come to the goal because if the loop is infinite okay then we will not come here so this is another problem and we got the solution of this depth first search okay about this problem in that uh, improved algorithm I will discuss you in the some of the slide in this chapter okay uh, so this is one one of the things okay and uh, about this one okay I want to show you at the same time let's say uh, we are moving from the starting, okay, from this node and coming one by one, okay, to these, okay, breath first. And let's say we have the goal here. Then at some moment, without going to infinite, okay, we will come up to the goal. So this is a sure or okay, certain algorithm, okay. So this is better than okay, death first in that case. Uh, okay, let's move on for the this one so we finished this okay so in the depth first okay the second point is uh the search proceeds immediately to the depth as i have shown you here okay uh also uh okay is it okay uh once i want to check you in between everything okay from your side So, okay, so let's move on to the next one, okay? Uh, it will move in depth, that's all. And also, okay, the strategy is implemented, okay, by tree search algorithm with last in, first out. So the queue has different structure now. So the last in, first out is something like this, okay? You have, let's say, uh, a queue which is uh, close from one side and open from other side. So the thing is, okay, whatever you enter here, okay, in the queue, let's say you enter A first, okay, it will come here. Then you enter B, okay, here, like this way, okay. And then you enter C, okay, like this way, that's okay. So if you want to take out something from here, okay, so which one will come first? Obviously not the A, it will come the first will be C, okay? So that's why it is called last in, first out. The last element which is entered inside the queue will come out first, okay? LIFO. So the last in, first out queue is the strategy to implement such kind of okay, depth first search. Okay, uh, also it is called stack, the same thing. So the same data structure. So depth first search has very modest okay, memory modest memory uh, that which I have shown you here right modest memory because it is deleting all the time all the rest of the nodes which are useless in, during the search okay so after visiting uh, it didn't find anything okay the goal the target so it deleted at the thing at the same time okay uh, the depth first search okay uh, it is still there okay so uh, okay uh, I told you about the okay the goal that's all so their first search on on the binary this is an example so it has moved from here here and then come here and come back and then come here okay go first here and then like this way so uh the thing is okay we finally got reach out the goal okay so the depth first search on a binary tree okay this is an example so no, so the nodes that have been expanded and have no descendant in the frames can be removed from the memory 
I told you about these things, okay. Also, okay, um, this is example, okay, having the target, the goal, and okay, I, I was talking about this one, okay, the improved one. So the slightly, okay, different form of depth first search, okay. So this is the depth first algorithm search method, but uh, to improve the, okay, uh, the quality, how can we get the goal easily and in less time, okay? There is some variation, okay? Changes in the depth of search, uh, which is called, okay, the next algorithm, backtracking search algorithm. And it uses, okay, uh, less memory and we can get, okay, less memory in comparison to the original depth first, okay, algorithm. Uh, that's why, okay, it is considered as better than this one, okay, the backtrack search. So, okay, let's move to the next algorithm, okay, iterative, de iterative deepenings, okay, uh, depth first search. So, in this one, okay, uh, it is also called as iterative deepening depth first search or iterative deepening search. Uh, is a so it is a general strategy algorithm which is used in combination with okay combination with depth first okay together and find the best depth limit okay so find the best depth limit okay so I will show you what is the limit depth limit okay that's okay so uh, okay let's see the figure then you can understand better. So let's say iterative, okay, this one, iterative, okay, deepening search. So we begin by the first node, the root node, okay. Here's the limit is zero. You can think it as level, okay, uh, because uh, not the level, okay. Uh, in some cases, you can think it as level, that's okay. But the other sense is we have the limit, okay, to search for different levels, okay, like this. So we have the limit zero. This means we can search in zero level only, okay? Only we have, okay, uh, the limit to search up to zero only. So we will search the zero node, any, the root node. If the limit becomes one, okay, then we can search to the first level, okay? So the level zero and the level four, one is this one. So we will search the goal in the first level, okay, like this or this. So one by one, okay, first this one and then the second one like this, okay. Uh, also, if we say that limit is two, let's say the limit is two, this means we can search up to second level, okay. This means we will search in this level, in this level and thereafter not more than that. So we will search here, okay, move here and then here like this way, okay, and so on. And uh, okay, so this is the final state in this game. And if the limit is three, this means we will search further one more level, okay, down to this one, one, two, three, and four, like this way, right? So uh, these are some of the limitation, okay? So that's why it is called okay limit based. So let's see okay it, it does this by gradually increasing the limit first okay I think I will explain each and everything. So increasing the limit first zero then one then two and so on. Uh, about this one okay this will occur okay when the depth limit reaches D okay so this is the depth limit okay the depth of shallowest goal the last, okay, the bottom level, okay. Uh, so at that point, it will set the node and seek the, find, try to, it will try to find the goal in that level also. Okay, iterative deep thing, okay, Com combines, it combines the benefit of, okay, two things, the benefits of depth first and the benefit of breadth first search together. So what does it mean? It means that it it combines the 
depth first algorithm and breadth first algorithm together during the search strategy. Okay, so together at the same time as I have shown you. Okay, breadth first okay? and the depth first also like this way. See, so every time it is going for the breadth from here to here like this way, and also at the same time the depth first because it has already travels all this bar. So, okay, let's move to the next one. The next strategy, okay, such algorithm is based on bi-directional search. This means uh, we have uh, a, a strategy or search algorithm which is uh, used, okay, to run two simultaneous, okay, searches at the same time. So, how does it look like? Let's say we have the starting point here and the goal is here, let's say. And we are, okay, uh, using our search strategy from both sides. So from the starting point, we have, okay, search method. I'm searching in this, okay, area one by one. And at the same time, we are searching from the goal side, okay, like this, okay. So all the time, okay, uh, both sides are working, okay. Two that is called two simultaneous okay, searches are going on. So by doing so, okay, you will find, okay, finally, uh, the goal very quickly, okay? Because let's say you arrive here, arrive here, uh, I didn't find, I didn't find, and let's say the goal, okay, uh, let me remove this one, and the goal is very close near to this one, and it has arrived at the same point. So finally, okay, we will come up to some Cross section that okay, uh, so I got information up to here. There's nothing, but it will say okay. I got the goal. It is here, so it will be, become a complete strategy. So simultaneous, yani at the same time, okay, simultaneous. We will get, uh, we will find okay search much efficient in this case, right? So one forward from the initial state and the other backward from the goal itself. Right, so, uh, so this, this is the thing, okay, in, in this bi-directional search. Uh, okay, the next thing is motivation is that uh, we are using, okay, this is the mathematical okay, representation of this bi-directional search. So you, if you think it as forward, this will be the backward, okay? So altogether, okay, combined search will give okay a better search strategy this is the way so let's say it travels halfway the other travels half okay and then it becomes uh, the time will be consumed will be less than okay the ideal one if we go for only one one side search okay one directional single direction okay unidirectional i should say right Okay, uh, let's move to the next one. Okay, the, this is the comp comparative okay analysis uh, of the uninformed search strategies. So in this okay, we have uh, breadth first, uh, uniform, okay, uh, also depth first, okay, uh, depth limited and iterative. All these algorithms. So the first thing is which one will be complete. Okay, which one is guaranteed that it, you will get the result, Natija? Yes, in this case. Okay, yes, in this case. Okay, all the, uh, but, oh, sorry, not this one. This is no, this is no, okay. Uh, how about the iterative? Yes, of course, we will get. Uh, the time consumption, okay. Uh, we represent most of the algorithms using algorithmic, okay, efficiency factor which is called O, the big O, okay? This is a measurement of algorithm's performance and uh, efficiency. So we measure the efficiencies of algorithm in terms of O, big O, using, okay, B, uh, this one, B to the power D plus one and so on. So these are some of them. And uh, if you wish, you can compute it, okay? But the computation is quite longer. On space, okay, for the space, uh, 
uh, we are talking about the memory now, right? So the memory space, it will be like this, okay? Occupation, memory occupation. Uh, the optimal, which one is the optimal one? Uh, if you can observe, uh, most of them are in the same way as, okay, uh, completeness, depending on completeness. So this is no and this is again no, okay? For the completeness and for the optimal, both, both of them. So uh, the algorithm which are considered that it will complete its goal finding task is also optimal. Okay, if you can think like this also. So let's move to the next one. The next one is about the informed, okay, informed heuristic search. So informed heuristic searches are, okay. Uh, is it okay? Are you listening? That's okay, no problem. Everything okay? That's okay, good. So, okay, let me finish. And quickly and then we'll finish. we finish. We don't have too much slides now. That's okay. So the informed, okay, or heuristic searches are uh, in this one, it uses, okay, problem specific knowledge. And uh, we do have definition also inside. That's okay. Problem definition, definition of the problem. But in addition to that one, we have, uh, we will use, okay, uh, information that are available beforehand, okay, problem specific knowledge. So that's why it is called informed. And it will find the solutions, okay, more efficiently in comparison to the uninformed one. So these are examples, one by one, that's okay. So in this one, the best first search, this one. So in this algorithm, okay, this is, uh, and it is also considered as example of general tree search algorithm. So this is just an example of uh, an algorithm which we have studied tree search, okay? Or the graph search algorithm. Uh, in this one, okay, a node is selected for expansion based on uh, evaluation function, okay, Fn. We will study this one function later. So the node with the lowest evaluation is considered as selected for the expansion, okay? So, okay, let's see, okay, the next point. Uh, so what is heuristic function, okay? We were talking about uh, this function, and now we have another function, this one. This is all heuristic function. So I have combined all these functions together here, that's okay. So most, okay, best first algorithms include, okay, uh, a component of the main function, function, uh, which is called heuristic function, okay? So heuristic function is donated by HN. So these functions are related like this. Let's say a function, okay, uh, for, for the state N is equal to, okay, function F bracket N, okay, this is the state, and it is related as equal to gn, okay? gn is the goal function, remember? Or the uh, path function, remember the path function? So the path function is this one, and heuristic function is this one, hn. So hn, okay, heuristic function is estimated cost of cheapest path, okay? So from the start state and to the goal state. I will explain later, that's okay. Okay, so the greedy best for, okay, uh, search this one, another one, okay. So we finished this one and now we are in the greedy first, okay. Be best first search finished, now we are in the greedy for best first search, another encounter. So, this, okay, so it tries to expand the node, okay, that is closest to the goal. Or uh, let's say, okay, you have a starting or initial, okay, state, okay? The first state, initial state, this one here, okay? S, here, yes, here. Okay, I will just, okay, initial state, this one. 
and from here okay if I can okay so this is the initial state s and we want to achieve the goal okay the goal is here so the goal is here okay and the initial state is here and we are always trying to search from the s okay state to the g state by finding okay uh, searching for the goal like this way uh, so the greedy one will always greed for the goal okay it will not search any other area any other side actually any other node it will always try to reach the goal as soon as possible as easier as possible so that's why it is tending towards the goal much quicker okay like this way this way and so on and finally it will be there so the greedy best okay first search will first search the nearest goal okay closest to the goal see here this one the same thing the meaning is this one and uh it is likely okay so to lead to the solution quickly the same thing as i told you so uh it evaluates okay nodes by using uh heuristic function the heuristic function helps the greedy best first search algorithm to arrive the goal much easily and much quickly okay because it is a guide to find the goal okay much easier in the shortest time right okay so uh if you think about this function just now i've shown you fn f is equal to g plus h if we remove the cost function g let's say g is equal to zero in this function so f is g plus h and let's say g becomes zero then the function will be totally depending on h right so this is the thing so if the cost function doesn't matter it is it is it has gone zero then the okay the function f will be relying on h only the heuristic function and that is what happening here in the greedy for best first search okay uh, okay the next thing is it resembles it it just uh, make the same okay understanding follow a single path okay all the time all the way to the goal so it will follow a single path all the time uh, which is leading to the goal that's all uh, but it will back up okay when it hits a dead end so the thing is okay uh, fairway that's okay so let's say uh, after arriving here okay let's say here it got some obstacle some condition some problem that there is a barrier we, we cannot cross further okay so in this case the greedy function will move okay to this direction here and further here okay and it will move by this direction and it will say the finally the goal here okay so this is uh, the thing we were talking about right so in this case if there's some dead end or some barrier or some obstacles okay so it will move and it will have to travel more it will have to spend more time to arrive the goal so this is another condition another ability if there's no barrier it is easy to find the goal but if there's some barrier it is hard to find the goal and it will take more time even for the greedy one okay uh, so it, that's why it is called not optimal and it is also sometimes considered as incomplete okay okay let's go to the next one so uh, this is one of the famous algorithm a plus okay, search uh it will minimize okay minimizing the total estimated solution cost so it will minimize function f okay always it will try to minimize so minimizing the total okay estimated solution cost okay Uh, okay, so how does it minimize? So the most widely known, widely known, okay, form of best first search, okay, this is A plus, okay. Uh, how does it work? Okay, uh, as I told you, the function is like this. Okay, this is the function, okay, which is depending on f n, depending on uh, this g n and h n, okay. 
So how does it minimize? Let's say uh, you have a initial starting. Uh, is it okay? Are you listening? That's okay. No problem. Give me just a few seconds. I will finish inshallah. Everything okay? No problem up to now? So should I continue? That's okay. Okay, so I will move on. That's okay. So let's say, okay, this is interesting. Let me find it easier. So let's say this is your initial state, this one, okay? This is the, your initial state. And this is the goal, okay, your target. And you are searching from here, okay, like this. Remember, like this way, that's all. So, and after some time, you arrive here. Uh, the agent arrive here at this point, X, uh, at the location X, position X, okay? So up to now, you have searched, okay, all these, okay, from the initial file or the moment, this one, search in each and everything, that's okay, right? So let's say after this, uh, the goal is still far from here. But luckily, you got H function also, okay? This H function, which is here. Uh, that is distance between the goal and the, your current position here, from here to here, right? So if you can think, okay, the total F, okay, is G plus A. Means, from the initial state to the final state and go, we need G plus H to combine together, right? G plus H, the total cost up to now, and H is the uh, estimated cost, you can think. So combining, okay, G and H will give the total, okay? So uh, it is also, yeah, it evaluates nodes, okay, by combining G, and G is the cost to reach the node, okay? This one, reach the node, this one, I'm talking about this one, that's okay. So this is the G, right? And H is the cost to get from the node to the goal, okay? This is the cost to from here to here, right? So in this case, okay, uh, if you think about it, okay, uh, to minimize okay, uh, the total cost, any F, Okay, so you need to minimize either H or G, okay? So whenever G is low or H is low, then it will be minimum. Or uh, if both of them are low, then it will be the optimal, okay? The best, okay, search. So this is how, this is what, okay, we discuss here in this, okay, all these points. The next thing is in this one, uh, since G gives the path, uh, the path cost from the start node to the node N, okay, G, as I told you, this is the G, and H estimated cost to the cheapest cost from N to go, okay, the same thing. So uh, function Fn, okay, this is important. Function, okay, estimated cost of the cheap, uh, function is equal to, Fn is equal to estimated cost of the, cheapest solution, okay, that we can achieve, that we can get, okay? So the same thing I told you about, right? So to minimize F, we need to minimize G, H also, okay? And the last one is about A plus search is both complete and optimal because A plus is depending on this formula and this formula is always trying to minimize the cost okay, together. So, okay, let's move to the heuristic function, okay? So we will apply the heuristic function, heuristic function to this eight puzzle, okay? The, remember last time we got this puzzle? So this is, okay, uh, 
The object of the puzzle is to slide the ties horizontally or vertically into the empty space okay, here and sliding all the time, let's say this one, this one or any other like this way. Uh, to find the final goal, which is the ordered number, okay, like this. From randomness, okay, like this, this, we have to make it ordered state, okay, like this one. So in this uh, example, we can consider H1, okay, as the number of misplaced title, okay. So we can think as misplaced titles, uh, tiles, sorry, as uh, you can see, seven is here at the first place um, oh, how about we are at one okay this one so two is here okay in place of one so this means it has been misplaced from from this position to this position okay just one position to the left side right because two should be here okay in this position in this position so it has been misplaced here so this means there's a difference of one position, right? And so on, okay? Or maybe you can think about, let's say, eight, okay? So eight is at the end here, but here is the, uh, eight is here, right? So this means it has shifted two positions, right? From the main, okay, final goal position, okay? So we are talking about this one, misplaced ties, okay? So H1 is the number of misplaced ties, and H2 is the number, is the sum of, okay, distances of the ties from the goal position, okay? That's what I, I have shown you just now. So in this case, okay, uh, because the ties cannot move along diagonals, they can move in horizontal up and down like this, right? So they cannot move horizontally, okay? They can move only uh, left to right or top to bottom, right? Like this way, we can move this one here, or we can move here, right? Like this way. So in this case, okay, the sum of the horizontal and vertical distances will be the ultimate distance, right? And uh, this is also sometimes called city block distance or Manhattan distance, that's okay. Or uh, the problem, okay, with the few restrictions, okay, on the action that is taken by the, remember, by the agent is called relaxed problem. So we can sometimes uh, relax the problem by removing some of the uh, barriers, some of the restrictions within the problems. So let's move to the next one, okay? Learning heuristics from experience, right? Uh, so just give me a few minutes, that's okay learning heuristic from experience okay so uh, the heuristic function is supposed to estimate the cost of the solution beginning from the starting node n and solution okay is a learning from experience so in the heuristic process actually it is sometimes called heuristic process as trial and error we do it every time as practice try 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 and every time if we get error and finally, we will get some solution. So try, and we fail, and try again, and we fail. Let's say we try again, and finally, we got the solution. So trial and error, okay? Also, the second name for here, six methods. So, okay, the solution depends on experience. That's why, that's why it is called experience-based, okay? Trial and error, experience, or heuristic, the same thing. The meaning, the sense is the same, okay? Solution is learned from experience, so just try, try, try. And experience means solving lots of, okay, puzzle together.